Hey babies! Welcome back to my channel! Honestly, today's challenge is, I have been seeing this challenge all over the internet here lately. I'm going to be doing my makeup in alphabetical order. I love doing challenges like this though because it, I mean, we all kind of fall into our own little pattern, you know what I mean? Like into the same pattern, to set the same routine. So I really wanted to try it and kind of put my makeup skills to the test and see. The way that I normally do my makeup routine is we have primer, eyebrows, foundation, concealer, powder, bronzer, contour, baking, blush, eyeshadow, mascara, Highlighter, lip liner, lipstick, and setting spray. If you turn it around and put it all in alphabetical order, this is what you get. So this is gonna be fun. <laughs> So to start things off, all right, the first letter in the alphabet is A. Obviously, we don't have any products that start with A, so we move on to B, all right? Baking, blush, and bronzer. So we are going to bake first. Normally, I'd prime first, but today we're going to bake first. So go ahead and bake. Okay, so I guess we just sit here and bake. <sighs> okay, so it's been five minutes. I usually keep it on, my baking on for between five to 10 minutes. Let's go ahead and brush this off. I tell it definitely made a little bit of a lighterness, but other than that, it pretty much did absolutely nothing. On to the next one, which is blush. So I kind of have a theory since I'm putting all of this on before my foundation and stuff like that. Add more, like, you know what I mean? Like the more I add, so when I go to put on my foundation, it won't cover it all completely up. Maybe some of it might actually shine through the foundation you know what I'm saying so that's the theory is we're gonna add a bunch of blush and contour and stuff like that all I need is some pigtails and I'll feel like Pippi Longstocking now, next is bronzer. I am going in with my unique beachfront bronzer. I love this bronzer because it's got a little bit of a shimmer to it. It's got like a matte side and a shimmer side and I love it because I mix both in. Oh, wow, oh, wow, oh, wow. I am beauty, I am grace. <laughs> All right, so next is 
concealer. So now normally I also use concealer to shape out my brows. So we're gonna go ahead and shape them out with concealer as well and hope for the best. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in with my NYX HD Photo Studio Photogenic Concealer and I'm using the shade Alabaster, which is CW00. Oh wow, <laughs> I'm looking crazy right now. Next is contour. Again, the theory is more is better at the moment. So hopefully it comes through through the foundation, so. I don't know. That's just a theory. I don't even know if that's gonna work, okay? Honestly, I'd rather use cream I'd rather use cream blush, cream bronzer, and cream... <gasps> I have a cream contour! What am I doing? That's gonna probably look horrible, because that's my bad. That's my fault. I'm the doofus that put a cream over a powder. So hopefully the rest of it looks good though. We shall see. All right, so after contouring, I look. Oh. Why? Why did y'all let me do this challenge? Why? <laughs> Alright, so after contouring is E for my eyebrows. Hopefully I don't screw this up because I don't think the rules will let me go back in and fix it with concealer, so. I mean, not my best, but it's not bad, I guess. Okay, so after eyebrows, now it is eyeshadow. And today, I'm gonna go in with um, one of my, out of my newest collection, I absolutely, absolutely, absolutely love it, is the Anastasia's Beverly Hill Alyssa Edwards palette. So, look at that, look, look at my, my concealer's starting to crease because I haven't set it yet. <laughs> My skin is screaming at me right now saying, set me. But yeah, so I think we're gonna kinda go for more of a, a more neutral, goldish kinda look, so. Okay, so I'm gonna start out with the Supreme. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go in with H O E Ho. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna go in with Inspire. Thank you. 
I think I'm gonna go in with back rolls, this dark brown. I wanna give it a little bit of dimension. And then I think for the finishing touch to it, I'm going to add a headliner, this white, to the inner part. Loving that eyeshadow look. So, after eyeshadow, is finally foundation. So let's hope that my theory of packing it on actually works. And I'm using e.l.f. Uh, Flawless Finish Foundation because it's honestly, it's not like too heavy, too cakey, or too dark, so. Wow, honestly, that didn't turn out too bad looking, honestly. I was very, very surprised. Wow. Okay, so next, after foundation is highlighter. Now, what worries me about that is throwing some highlighter on this wet skin with foundation. But then again, you'll never know. It could look damn good. So, let's see. Oh, yes. Oh. Okay, so I might actually start doing that then, is throwing some highlighter on some wet foundation. Maybe not all the time, but... After highlighter, we would do lip liner because that's in alphabetical order. So, L would be lip liner before lipstick, which, no biggie, you know, I do that all the time anyway, so. All right, so I'm gonna use the Unique's Moonstruck Precision Pencil, and the color I'm using is Prudent to kind of help go with this nudish, beige-ish kind of look, so. Okay, lipstick. Again, unique. This is Splash Liquid Lipstick, and the color is Sympathetic. After the lips, the lipstick, all that stuff would be M for mascara, so. Alright, so after mascara, which would be peace, so powder, powder, thank God, my prayers have been answered, my face has been screaming for me to set this, to set it, I need my setting powder, so I'm going in with the e.l.f. HD, Next is primer. Hmm. Let's do this. I feel like if I add just a little, it won't hurt it. Hmm. Okay. 
Okay. Good. Oh, yes. 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 Okay. And last but not least, thank Jesus. Huh. Setting spray. Okay, but that's it, you guys. And I must say, I am actually very, very surprised with how well it came out. But yeah, tell me what you guys think below. And um, if you guys have any challenges that you can think of that you want me to try, comment them below. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button below. Don't forget to hit the uh, notification icon so that way you get notified anytime I upload a new fun video, okay? <laughs> Alright, anyways, thank you guys. Love ya. Mwah, mwah.